two really good weeks. We had a bye week and coming off a tough loss, you know, we, what I really ask the players to do is, is have a good attitude and a good work ethic and come to practice and get better each day. Um, they did that last week and then we came back on, on Monday and they practiced extremely hard, you know, and, and uh, to have that type of atmosphere at practice after coming off a tough loss is, is something that, uh, you know, they showed a lot of character, really proud of them. Uh, I like the way our defense played today, particularly in the third quarter. I thought we did a great job of um, shutting them down and giving the offense short fields. Um, what else can you say about Lamar? You know, another tremendous performance by him. Uh, they told me that he just did the 3,000 passing, 1,000 rushing, the first guy ever to do it. And uh, he's an amazing player. Uh, we didn't throw the ball as much tonight. We, we actually thought we could, could come in and, and try to run it at him, control it. Uh, we used some different personnel groups, what I thought was, was fun, helped us a lot. Uh, and I thought that the, our running backs did a good job and our offensive line controlled the line of scrimmage. James Hearns had a big game for us. I think he had uh, three forced fumbles. And, you know, right from the first series, our defensive front put pressure on their quarterback. And that, that helped us the, the rest of the game. Uh, I think they, they had to, to worry about um, getting the ball out quicker and not be able to do some of the things that they normally do as far as taking shots downfield. Uh, and that really helped us. But proud of our team. Thought they did a great job. Bobby, all in all, do you think this is the, the most complete effort from your football team this season? Uh, you know, it might be. You know, it's hard to because you really just put games behind you and move on. But uh, I thought our defense really did a good job of, of uh, dominating the line of scrimmage uh, and playing extremely hard and fast. and. It was great to have Jair back out there because he's such a leader and gives you so much energy and excitement uh, that there's no question. I think he elevated everybody else's game. You lost a guy on the offensive line and still rushed for however many yards. How'd you get that done? Yeah, you know, it's it's not fun not having Makai out there because he's had a great year and he's a tremendous player. He's going to be a real special player before it's all over with. But Cole Bentley is a, a, you know, a, another true freshman. Uh, he did come early. He graduated early and, and has been here since January. Uh, started the spring game, so he's a good football player. He's very powerful. Uh, Lucas did a really nice job of moving out to tackle. Uh, helped Cole a lot. You know, he was telling him a lot what was going on out there and helped him a lot. But Cole's going you know, a very, very talented guy and is going to be a really good player too. And uh, it'll be fun to watch the film and see how he did. The combo of Day and Malik. Your thoughts on how those two? Yeah, I thought they showed a lot of power, you know, and, and really did a nice job of uh, breaking tackles and getting yards after contact. Uh, it was good to see Day run the ball in the end zone and, you know, be able to control the ball. And it's nice when you can line up on the 13 and run it for three times and get it in the end zone. It makes life a little easier, you know. Um, heck of a catch by Jalen, though, on, on the other touchdown on the other end. Uh, and, a, and a really nice play. You know, he came across on a drag route. Uh, didn't get the ball, so he wheeled on his own up the sideline, and, and Lamar moved in the pocket and made a great throw and catch. But, uh, um, you know, Reggie got uh, a little bit dinged up in practice this week, uh, but I thought he did a great job of returning punts for us and, and really, uh, you know, influenced the game by how well he returned punts. What do you know about overall injuries? Do you, do you know about Makai for next week? or? Um, yeah, I'm not sure about Makai yet. You know, we always find that out in, on Monday and that, but uh, we just have to wait and see. And then was it was it Chucky and True who went down? Yeah, down? True was back up, could have went back in the game, and Chucky, they came in to put stitches in, so we should have both of those guys available. How did Jair come, how did Jair come out? Of really good, really good. He was excited. Bobby, around here, bowl eligibility is just kind of an, an old hat. You know, it's almost kind of taken for granted. It seemed like this week with the players, it was something that they were openly talking about that they wanted to, to get it done and kind of get it out of the way. Did you sense that as well? I, I didn't talk to them about it, so I don't know. We were just working on getting better and, and going and winning the game. Um, but it is nice to be bowl eligible. You know, it's, it's, it's certainly not what we expected um, as a team when we started the season. Uh, we've had to fight through a lot of adversity. Uh, and this team has shown a lot of character and a lot of toughness and you know I'm very proud of them and we just want to finish the season strong now. How did your defense? Did you need that bye week? Wasn't that? Uh, I thought it helped us a lot. 
Yeah, you know, we had nine straight games and, and to be able to, you know, take a little breath, relax a little bit, still work hard. Then they got some days off over the weekend. Uh, and they came back on Monday with a tremendous attitude and a lot of energy. Uh, and we practiced that way all week. So I, I think it did help us. The defensive line, obviously, like you said, was destroying the game um, with their performance. Did you see signs that this might be possible, or what specifically did you try to go after? With? Yeah, I think they just worked extremely hard, and, and uh, you know we've been dinged up a lot. And I think this is probably the most, the healthiest we've been on defense all year, um, and it was good to see them go out there and play like that. Were you, were you happy with the way they responded? Because Virginia goes down, they're throwing the ball, they're getting chunk plays, they score touchdowns, but you're, they didn't, they didn't waver. They kept coming and. And they played really well from, from that point of view defense. Yeah, one of the things we've talked a lot about uh, this week was the fact that, you know, they got good players and they're going to make plays too. And what we have to do is keep our poise and just keep playing fast and playing hard and we'll make plays. Um, and if you, if you get down on yourself, um, which we've seen sometimes from our young defense is they get down a little bit and then things don't go as well. So we really wanted to keep our poise, keep the energy, understand that the other teams we play have good players and they're going to make plays. They're going to score on us. Uh, we just have to keep fighting and, and find a way to win the game. And, you know, I thought that, you know, we, we uh, did a good job of that. I was really proud of our defense, particularly coming out of halftime and be able to control the line of scrimmage like we did in the second half. Which, which guy or multiple guys strike you as the, the emotional leaders of that defense? Is it Jair, Chucky, those, those guys seem to have everyone fired up even, even in warm-ups. Well, Jair gives us a great a big lift because everyone knows how talented and how great a player he is. So naturally, when he's back, that gives you energy right there. Chucky's done a really nice job all year. He's kind of been back there by himself a lot and has had a lot of responsibility. Uh, Stacy Thomas was great to have back and at full speed. You know, I think that helped us a lot in practice as guys are seeing him sprinting and running full speed and making the plays that he always can make, you know. But I thought James Hearns and, and Trayvon did a really nice job this week, too, of, of uh, stepping up and understanding that they needed to go make plays for us to win. I think you said Trayvon was the one who, was, who sat out practice last week to rest. I just didn't see that today. Yeah, yeah, he, he needed to get healthy. Yeah. All right, Coach. All right, thank you. Thank you.